Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Soundpeats Q900. These are the updated version from the Q800 that we saw last year, and they're still a very inexpensive pair of Bluetooth headsets that you can pick up on Amazon for around 25 bucks. It shares uh, similarities in terms of design to the LG Tone, which came out a few years ago, at least the first generation model did, and has a convenient design if you're working out or going to the gym because it distributes the weight of the Bluetooth uh, portions in terms of the chip and the battery along the collarbone design so you wear it around your neck and the actual uh, earphones themselves are extremely lightweight so you can pop them in and listen to music without feeling any strain uh, if you are planning on listening to music for longer periods of time. It has a multi-point connection functionality so you can connect it to let's say two or three products at once uh, and also includes a 10 meter or 33 feet range with that Bluetooth, has 10 hours of rated talk time and also 240 hours of standby time so a slight update uh, in terms of specifications for that. Otherwise very similar design uh, but a few differences in the placement and the icons that they used. You still have volume controls as well as a 6th gen CVC which is a noise reduction functionality. So if you are using this to answer calls or listen to music under noisier environments it should help a little bit although there's also going to be a slight amount of static uh, when you are using this. So Otherwise, this is what the packaging looks like. Fairly standard. There's no um, extra case that you get uh, with this specific model, but uh, again, it's a very popular model that you can find online. There's also a micro USB charging cable provided. It takes about two hours to completely charge this, and it comes partially charged the first time you get it out of the box. There's also a set of uh, silicon tips to get a more custom fit uh, depending on the year size, as well as a quick start guide that tells you how to set things up for the first time, how to pair it using. Taking a look at the design of the headset next, it's uh, made out of this glossy plastic plastic material on the front which attracts a fair amount of fingerprints as well as dust. It's about the same as the version that we saw from last year, although significantly lighter so it feels a bit more comfortable. At the same time you have access on the front here to those controls for answering slash rejecting a call. It also dubs as your play pause key over here so those are pretty easy to tap on and also to press. They're tactile and responsive. It also dubs as your power key so you can hold on that for a few seconds longer to enter the pairing mode and an LED will flash blue which tells you that you are ready to pair with your product. On the sides here, there's access to a fairly tactile volume rocker, and there's also a covered up micro USB port, so if you're exercising, that sweat doesn't accidentally go in. These are not fully waterproof um, or, you know, or significantly dustproof uh, headsets, so they're not meant to be submerged if you are, let's say, a swimmer. You can't take them out to the pool, but uh, it still works fairly well as far as uh, in general usage. Um, otherwise, on the other side, there's access to dedicated controls for skipping tracks, which also works pretty well. It takes just a few moments to get used to the placement of these buttons, and afterwards, uh, you don't have any issues as far as uh, using this. There's also a dedicated power on off switch on the sides if you want to power the headset off completely and save a bit more on the battery. The back features some basic info about the company, uh, the logo, as well as uh, some basic info about the model, the Q900, and so overall pretty clean presentation across the board. Uh, the top here, which is made out of this uh, more soft touch material, is extremely bendable and uh, malleable, so it's uh, comfortable when you have this around your neck and you wear it around your collarbone. Otherwise, the quartz that comes out here from the top is also slightly improved from last year's model because it seemed to move a bit more easily last year so it overall gave the impression of a slightly more flimsy as well as a less elegant approach uh, but uh, this year it's still there to some extent and you can adjust the cable length as well by yourself by twisting the sparrow on the side if you know this is too short it doesn't go over uh, to your into your ears you can also adjust this and move this downwards but uh, all in all it does work fairly well and to actually use the earphones again you just remove them from the bottom tips and there are held onto place using magnets. The magnets are slightly stronger than last generation model, so even if you shake and move them around uh, during transit, they won't accidentally fall loose or pop off like we found from last year. So from a overall quality perspective, uh, as far as sound quality is concerned, I have to say that the Q900 are better than I expected. They're fairly clean sounding and there's a nice amount of bass in the lower frequency. You know, they're not overly bass heavy, but it certainly is there. There's a nice thump. Uh, it works great with electronic music, pop music, most of these genres that you'll listen to if you are using this for exercising purposes. Of course, if you're an audiophile and you're picking this up to listen to, let's say, classical music, there are better options available, but then again, these are extremely low cost and inexpensive. And for the price range, um, I really think that these are one of the best options that you can find. As far as uh, listening very closely to any distortion, I couldn't find that much, actually. Uh, there is a slight amount of 
uh, static. If you listen really closely and you turn the volume all the way down or if you're pausing your music in between tracks, it can sometimes detect that, but all in all, it's not too crippling. As far as using this as a speakerphone and using it with the mic that's uh, integrated for answering calls, it also worked pretty well. The mic, again, is uh, noise reducing, so even outdoors, it worked uh, decently with me. Of course, your reception is going to vary depending on the phone that you use. So all in all, very good in that department. Same thing with the battery. I had no issues uh, with that. Noise isolation on these are also quite good because I found these silicon tips to be very comfortable. And again, just like the LG Tone and the Q800, which came before this, because of this particular design and the ear tips are extremely lightweight, uh, they are quite comfortable to wear and they block out quite a bit of external noise when you are running and jogging, uh, despite the fact that they're not an active noise canceling pair of headphones. So anyways, I would say that these are a pretty quality pair of Bluetooth headsets. If you already have the Q800, there isn't a super compelling reason to upgrade. There's not much uh, enough that I would recommend that. But if you don't already have a pair of uh, sports headphones, Bluetooth headphones, and you want to consider picking one up, these are definitely a great pair to check out. Thanks for watching this video first look and quick review here at uh, OS Reviews. This has been the Soundpeats Q900 Bluetooth headset.